And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some out of the way Riven. We're going to replay this meme tier deck that was pretty awesome. We got another uh, donation to play a good out of the way deck and so I wanted to bring this one back. So this is going to be a Riven Taric deck that uh, is going to use Riven and Runeweaver to be able to reforge. And with reforging you're going to get all of these cheap spells to be able to play on your units, which is important for Taric, because um, like whenever you uh, support, you copy the last spell that you cast on only Taric, so you can copy like a Blade Fragment, for example, and of course those Blade Fragments will help level Taric up. Now the cool part about this deck is uh, we're gonna be playing out of the way, so if, uh, give all of our ally buffs permanent, like if they're just end of round buffs like the uh, Cato the arm plus three plus zero overwhelm this round for example like that would be permanent or any of those blade fragments are all this round for these different things so that they can have permanent quick attack or overwhelm for example but we're going to be combining that out of the way with survival skills that's going to be the really cool part of our deck so if we play out of the way then the um buffs are permanent and then we play survival skills then this whole allies can't drop below one health this round. It will just be one health like permanent. Like this round will go away. So basically we can make it so all of our things uh, can never die. They can, can't, can't drop below one health. Um, so that's that's our combo. Out of the way and then you know get a good amount of units in play. Out of the way and then survival skills. And then none of them uh, can die. So that's our combo. So it should be pretty cool. We'll see if we're able to... Um, uh, handle that we're gonna have legion drummer giving quick attack which could be permanent quick attack to some cards like trifarian glory seeker for example and plus it's another support unit for the Taric. Um and then we just got some other uh, cards that help out Taric, like transfusion pale cascade and might and that's kind of our deck so we'll, we'll give it a try um yeah we can still get hushed even if we even if we uh, have that we can still like your our units can still get obliterated they can still get hushed that kind of stuff I can't deal with a landmark, can I? I don't think I have anything for a landmark. As far as I know. It's a big responsibility to Shepherd Star. Harvey. That's rude. Don't bark like that. Um, okay, let's see what we got. Victory requires a sharp blade. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a great matchup. You're mine. I agree, this matchup seems pretty bad. But let's get to it. Break the ties that bind. Tarek. Where once there was a sword, only shards remain. Broken gems show new facets. Okay. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. No turning back now. Show them the might of face me. Wow, surrendered. So yeah, so I was gonna have I was gonna have the plus two plus zero on the five one, and so I was gonna challenge there with a seven one to kill the Soraka. And then our um, our other five one was gonna have quick attack challenging the two four, taking that down. So we're gonna be able to kill both of those. And so then they would have only had like the two three to block um, our other stuff, and yeah, it was it was looking good for us if if they didn't have like a pale cascade or anything to save those, which I guess they didn't because they conceded. Um, it was looking pretty good. Hey puppy, you want to see some sea monsters? Sea monsters are pretty cool. How often do you get to see sea monsters, puppy? Probably not that often. 
All right, puppy, what do we want to do? We want to keep the soldier, keep a glory seeker, keep a ballista, and mulligan the other glory seeker? Or do we just keep them all? What do you think? Keep them all? Okay, we'll keep them all. They're all pretty cool. Ours is the one true light. All right, so basically the glory seekers are going to be poor against... Devotion to battle. Um, they'll be poor against the two mana one four, but they're going to be strong against Maokai. They're going to be able to take down Maokai. Let's kind of take down just like other uh, things they could have like that. Um, let's just play the Rune Weaver to start with. They're going to be kind of my targeted removal. Follow the horizon. Hmm. Not 0 and 1. Give me the stuff! Stop me, stop me! They shall attend. They block the 3 1. Could be. They could have like Withering Whale in hand. Maybe they block like the 2 2. Well, okay, yeah, you said the five, the five, I, I don't, I just don't, yes, my, my Glory Seeker dies to their one four, um, their two drop that's a one four, but I just don't, I, I get to choose whether or not to put the Glory Seeker into combat, I just don't put it into combat in that area, but I really want it, because like, Maokai is an important thing to be able to kill, I really want to be able to kill Maokai. I bring clarity. Tarek brings Claritin? Is that like an allergy medicine? That's what you bring, Tarek? Allergy medicine? The world awaits! Forward! Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. We'll go you. Oh, no, 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 no! Gosh, that was so bad by me. Obviously, we wanted to challenge here. Yeah, that's a smack, a forehead smack right there. This is rather dull. I guess they're, I guess they're dead anyway, so I'm just like, I just did it the best way anyway. I guess they're just dead no matter what they do. <laughs> See? Had it the whole time. Beautiful. It was lethal even without the challenge. I was just showing off. That's, that's all that happened there. I was just showing off. Didn't even need to challenge. All right, playing some scoots. This is a tier one deck here. So we'll see how, how our unit deck does against the scoots. Take that trade. Your fate was written. Their two drop much more valuable than our two drop. Maybe they do not have misfortune and also do not have Grand Plaza. They just don't have either one. Alright, never mind. Yeah, that's... I 
that's fair. I guess I guess I could have just cast survival skills if I would want to keep Riven alive. So much mana. Here we go. stuck here so i could let's see i could out of the way now and then survival skills next turn oh, that seems kind of difficult to protect all never submit hmm no more units kind of hope for another blocker We should have gone quick attack on that thing. It's nowhere you, it's the cost two or less, of course. Drummer, why couldn't I have you last turn? You've been very good last turn. Yeah, I should have gone quick attack on my 5 2 last turn. That was that was my bad. I should have gone. I was just kind of focused on like the what to play on Taric and not the other thing. I should have gone quick attack on the on the other thing to keep it alive, and then I would have the two things for my survival skills Positive this turn. Reflection. Stop. I love that animation for whenever you hard cast survival skills. It's really cool. I've got your back. It should just be me taking 11. The world awaits. Forward. I think I survive at one. This is our way. I think. Right, like it, it takes out one of these four four powers. And then yeah, I take eleven, so I survive at one. No! Sharp sight! Man, I was gonna kill them too the next turn. So I mean that I lost that because I didn't use the quick attack. If I would have used that quick attack, I would have I would have won that game. So that's too bad. That's an unfortunate way to lose. I mean, it was my it was unfortunate because it was my fault, right? Like I, I would have just quick attacked that uh, five two. They wouldn't have been able to kill it. I would have had the two blockers. I would have won that game. The world awaits forward. Because we were killing them the next turn. Uh, especially if I had like that other unit in play still. So we're playing against Timo Sejuani. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. The past is a burden we must learn to bear. Sharpen the blades, secure the kill. So I may be playing out of the way the next turn, but just didn't really have a great opportunity to yet. Um. A mushroom. Have three. 
Because, yeah, it's either out of, the, out of the way or, you know, like, I can just keep on putting more pressure on them. I, I would like to put out of the way, but it, it honestly just kind of makes more sense just to keep putting more pressure on them and play Iron Bloods to Glory Seeker. And then next turn, we probably just are going to play... Okay, I was going to say we were going to play, like, the, the Blade Fragments and then the Might. I'm sorry, out of the way. I know you're real cool and stuff, but we're just not even playing you. Plus two, plus zero this round. Yeah. Alright, GG's. I think the might was going to finish that out. Lisa and Zoe. That's a deck with Hush. Okay, so I could keep this and just go, you know, like turn three out of the way so we can actually play out of the way in a game. I feel like we should do that. I feel like we should actually play out of the way in one of these games. So let's do that. Ooh, we have the out of the way survival skills combo. Oh, you know, this is going to be slow. Cool. Not Zoe turn one. Hopefully not the goat. Yes, not the goat either turn two. Oh, they're going to just deny that, aren't they? They're just going to cast deny. Born in battle. And raised by war. Violence to end violence. Man, we can't win. I'm gonna play this out of the way, but it's just like much better for me to play Tarek into Tail Cascade next turn. All right, I just want to do this, so I'm going to do it. Oh, they just drew Denied too, man, and what a waste of me in a... <laughs> Tarek was, like, just the much better play right there, but I just wanted to do it. Where once there was a sword, only shards remain. Broken gems show new facets. Extend your senses. I could quick attack one of them, but I guess it doesn't really make that much sense to quick attack either. Whichever one I quick attack, they just kill the other. I guess maybe I should quick attack the Taric and try to incentivize them to kill the Riven, but... Because okay. like, if, they, if they just had... I guess Pill Cascade making that a 5-6 a wouldn't kill either one because of the, the top. Where are we at? Two? That's not very many. Victory requires a sharp blade. I write the rules of power. Who are you telling to get in the portal? Watch them fly back into stars. All reverse gravity and polarity, and watch them get really confused. Okay, so we're at three right now. So let's see. We're going to go plus two, plus zero. Here. Quick attack here. Overwhelm here. I am reformed. Level you up. Stop, no. Plus two, plus one here. Lost in reflection. I am the protector of the mountain. Really like all my time's going away? Come on. No. All right, so I got a Might and a Weapon Hilt. Harvey. 
Yeah, it's all about hush, basically, right? Like it's if they have a hot if they have hush, they have a chance. If they don't, they are gonna be losing. No more hesitation. I will not hold back. That doesn't look like a hush so far. No hush. GG's. Upload now to one. Oh. Uh, they don't gain any by blocking this because this can't take any damage. So that, that lifesteal, like trying to gain three, doesn't work. And then we overwhelm also with the five one. Alright, so we ended up going 4-1, and one, but that loss to scouts was my fault. I really should have cast the... I should have kept my... Uh, kept the... the th you know, I had the 3-1 Rune Weaver that I Pill Cascaded to make a 5-2. And I let them block with, you know, like a 3-power thing with it being tough. And I, I had one extra mana. I could have given it um, the Quick Attack. I really should have. I was kind of focused on... I didn't want to give the Terra Quick Attack... Because I didn't want, to, I wanted to copy over the Pell Cascade, so I played the Pell Cascade, and I thought, well, I want to copy the Pell Cascade, so I don't want to cast this Quick Attack. But I should have just cast the Quick Attack on the Rune Weaver, and so I made that mistake. So my Rune Weaver died in combat, and then the next turn I needed it as a blocker, and it would have survived again with, because I was playing survival skills the next turn. So it would have been, I would have had two units in play with survival skills. And uh, so it would have had like the two blockers the whole time, and that that would have made the big difference in the game. And then the next turn, I was going to play a bunch of mites and kill them. But so that's too bad. Um, yeah, so that that could have been a win, but I I lost. You know, like that's <laughs> you know shoulda coulda wouldas, right? You know, like that's uh, that's not how it goes. So. You got to make sure you do it correctly. But last time that we played this deck, we did play out of the way a whole bunch and had the out of the way plus survival skills combo quite a bit, actually. Uh, this time we didn't ever have that combo. We only played survival skills one time in the game that we died, and we only played out of the way one time and it got denied. So we didn't get to really uh, show off that really cool combo of those two together, unfortunately. But fortunately, our deck was just like, Riv like we were just playing Riven and Taric and just smashing our opponents with just those two cards and then like a bunch of pump spells and like some some cheaper stuff both legion drummer like all three of these cards legion drummer rune weaver and trifarian glory seeker were actually all very good we were playing all of those and they were all pretty great um less go hards around these days this could be a better trifarian glory seeker metagame without having go hard run run around so much um, but yeah, like our, our Legion Drummer was giving the Glory Seeker quick attack, or sometimes we would have the uh, Reforge Blade that was giving the Glory Seeker quick attack, or at least Blade Fragment. Um, so those were both pretty cool. Um, and uh, yeah, that, there we go. Tarek, of course, was just awesome. This is our best card in our deck. Tarek is, is amazing. But it looked good. It looked good. So cool deck here. So that's out of the way Riven. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Hopefully y'all enjoyed some uh, out of the way. And uh, even though we didn't really get to play out of the way or survival skills, hopefully you enjoyed the Riven Taric part of our deck. Those are some champions you don't see too much uh, these days, but I think that we kind of showed they can have some good success. So hopefully y'all liked the deck. But anyway, uh, leave those comments. Uh, let me know. Always like to see those. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.